Hi loves, I'm Arielle and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Arielle. I like to make college related videos in regards to my nursing journey. I'm a pre-nursing student. I have just applied to nursing school, so I'm waiting to hear back on that. But I love to share any resources I have with you guys, tips, tricks, passing your teas, all kinds of things like that. So today, I really wanted to cover how to get an A in anatomy and physiology. These kinds of videos really helped me and I think I picked up a thing or two on my own. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. I know how intimidating anatomy and physiology is. Oh my God. Um, it's so much material and it's so much to learn in such a short period of time. So I really wanted to cover everything that I've used to study, um, you know, tips and tricks that's worked for me. So let's get into it. Okay, so first, number one, first and foremost, most important thing in this video for getting an A in anatomy and physiology is determining what kind of learner you are. This was something that I really struggled with figuring out. There's tons of quizzes out there on Google that you can look up. Take the quiz, see if you're more of a visual learner, an auditory learner. If you're a kinesthetic learner, you know, you have to touch and feel. Um, you know, if you're, if you learn better writing, okay, or reading, I am definitely not one of those kinds of learners. Um, I found out through taking one of those quizzes and studying that I'm a visual and auditory learner, primarily auditory. So what this means for me is I need to hear you tell it to me, okay? So how I use that in my studying, I would put on my lectures on my drive to work, on my way home from work at 7 a.m. I wasn't listening to morning talk shows or music. Probably haven't listened to music on the radio in quite some time because I use that as personal study time. Okay, listening to podcasts like Straight A Nursing Podcast. Um, doctors Matt and Mike have a podcast as well. Um, I listen to registered nurse RN videos, my lectures from my professor, anything auditory, I'm all about it. Okay, I'm also a visual learner, so I really enjoy um, things like Pygmonic. Pygmonic is so amazing, especially if you're an auditory and visual learner. Tons of mnemonics and tricks and acronyms and things to help you remember and they make it super fun. So I'll talk about more about Pygmonic in a minute, um, but also Science with Susanna, she tells you about, you know, the, the different body systems or, you know, the functioning of the lungs, the functioning of the cardiovascular system, action potentials, all these kinds of things. And she has handouts that you can draw and color along with her. So those are super fun and have really helped me. Okay. Second on my list, number two, study groups and tutoring sessions. Okay. I am so, so thankful to my girls in my study group. Um, we, you know, stayed together through AMP one and then we came together again in AMP two and they, you know, we help save each other's butts many times in terms of having support because it's a lot of material, um, helping you keep track of what's due, helping you to understand concepts. Oh, I almost forgot to add this one to my list as well. Keeping a planner. So we're going to kind of jump into three here. Get a planner, write down all of your due dates for all of your assignments. Okay. Um, also having a tutor. So we're kind of jumping back and forth between two and three. So my school offered what they called supplemental instruction sessions or SI se sessions, where it was a student who, you know, had gotten an A in the class this semester or however many semesters before, coming back with their own materials, um, you know, once or twice a week to help students with some more of the some of the more difficult concepts. So any kind of tutoring, you know, a lot of schools offer free tutoring. Um, or again, forming those study groups. Okay. Sometimes talking it out, um, especially if you're more auditory like me, teaching it to someone else. If you can teach it to someone else, then that means that you know it. Okay. Number four, <laughs> YouTube University. You guys, YouTube. YouTube is the best thing ever. So top channels for me, Ninja Nerd. 
Okay, some of his videos are super long and super detailed, um, so I kind of have to pick and choose what I listen to with him, but he's phenomenal. Science with Susanna, I've already mentioned. Doctors Matt and Mike, I absolutely adore them. Again, I listen to their podcast. They are just absolutely wonderful. If it's a difficult concept, all I have to do is watch their video and I understand it like that. Okay, Teach Me A&P, she is the sweetest um, and is such you know, a great, great, great help for some of those more difficult concepts as well. She's a teacher out of Florida who just records her lectures and it's a good way um, to hear the lecture again just from someone else, all right? And then Professor Dave Explains is also one of my favorite channels. Pigmonic also does have a YouTube channel, which is quite helpful as well. Okay, number five. We are talking about Picmonic, you guys. So please be sure to check the link in my description box down below. I can save you 20% off of Picmonic. I've had Picmonic now for two years since I started Bio 101. The sodium potassium pump is just a killer uh, concept. It was so hard for me to understand and remember. And that comes into play with um you know, the nervous system, the muscular system, and now uh, we're getting into it with the cardiovascular system. So it's super important. Um, things that are difficult to remember, like blood types and blood transfusions and, you know, so, so many concepts, but they make it fun and easy to learn. Um, I'll insert a little picture here <laughs> with some things um, from Picmonic. They literally have every single body <laughs> system, every single topic, every single subject. And again, if you use my link in the description box, you can get 20% off. It will definitely, definitely, definitely come in handy if you are pursuing a healthcare career or major in college. Okay. I hope to be doing a giveaway soon with them. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty. So number six, make time to study. Make time to study in that planner, that handy dandy planner of yours, you know, carve out time to study from seven to eight o'clock every night. I'm going to study or you're super busy during the week. Okay. Then I'm going to study for two hours on Sunday, two hours Saturday, you know, two hours, one day in the middle of the week. It requires a lot of time. Even if it's just 15, 20, 30 minutes every day, Pomodoro method kind of thing. Um, you know, less is more. Try not to overload your brain with too much at once or else you're just going to crash and burn and not retain anything. But repetition practice makes perfect. Also, supplemental materials. We talked about Pigmonic. We talked about some of the things from YouTube. We've got atlases, which you can get on Amazon. Mine is buried in my bookcase, so I'm not going to pull it out. But it's just pictures of cadavers and, you know, all of the, the different anatomy, organs, organ systems, tissues, muscles, all of that, especially when it comes to memorization, okay? Make as many mnemonics as you can with remembering, you know, muscle groups or groups of bones. Um, you know, the cranial nerves, all of those things are super helpful. Coloring books. Um, there's a coloring book I used on Amazon. I will link down below. It's a coloring book workbook, which I found to be really helpful. Um, I didn't use the Atlas as much as I would like to only because my school, um, our professor had specific pictures of the anatomy that they wanted us to know that they use for the exams. So I didn't use that as much, but for some of you, it may be helpful. There are apps like the Atlas apps that you can get, um, via the Apple store, um, or, you know, the Google Play Store. Some of them are kind of pricey. Some of them are like $20, $30, but it's something that you'll have forever and you can get tons of like 3D views and it's really, really cool, you guys. Um, Quizlet, of course, Quizlet is the best. Etsy as well. Um, there's a bunch of, you know, supplemental materials from people like the Nurse Sam or Beautiful Nursing, um, Nurse in the Making, and tons of other creators. I can't even think of them all uh, at the moment. Oh, of course, CC Study Guide. She's amazing as well. Um, that really, you know, colorful, <laughs> if you like color. Um, 
to, you know, make it more fun and entertaining, not looking at the same black and white pictures over and over again. Also, if you have like notability or good notes to take notes in class or to highlight PowerPoints, for me, I find using different colors is really helpful in my retention. And of course, making flashcards as well. I'm not a flashcard person. I feel like I just spend so much time um, making them that I'm not spending enough time retaining them. So that's where uh, Quizlet comes in handy and Kahoot too. I used Kahoot a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to make it fun because I feel like if I have something fun, I'm going to want to do it, <laughs> understand it, and retain it more. Okay. And then lastly, we have communicate with your professor, make friends with your professor, talk to your professor, talk to your teacher, you know, um, raise your hand in class. Don't be afraid to get an answer wrong. Email them. If you're having trouble with a concept, meet with them during their office hours. Having that line of communication can make the difference between, you know, an A and a B or a B and a C because your teacher knows that you are trying, you're putting forth the effort and you care about the content and your education and the class. So that is just a few of my tips for how I got an A in anatomy and physiology. Um, know that you have to study this a little bit differently from other subjects you may be accustomed to studying for. Do the study guides if you can. That's something I'm working on myself because it'll be a great resource for you later on in your nursing school journey. So see you on the next one. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, the support really, really helps a small channel like myself. And you can also find me on Instagram at ari.thefuture.rn. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.